What's up guys? Pastor Jimmy here again with another week of First Kids Bible Study at Home. I hope that you guys are having a good time at home and getting your summer kicked off. I hope you're enjoying some of those activities in our First Kids Summer Activity Book. If you guys don't have one, let us know and we would love to make sure that you guys have one of those and that your summer is filled with learning about Jesus at home or when you're at the store or when you are going all about the city doing the things that you guys are doing this summer. So I hope you're doing well and I hope that you are ready to jump into God's word today. Today our lesson is going to take us into the New Testament book of Mark chapter 5. Mark chapter 5 and because Mark is one of the first five books of the New Testament, part of the Gospels, we know that it tells us about Jesus's life. And so today, our lesson is about Jesus and about some of the things that he did and some of the miracles that he did. Our story point today, our big picture question for this unit is, why did God create people? Well, God created people to worship him and to love him and to glorify him. God wants us to know him and to make him known to other people, to tell other people about who he is and about how awesome he is and incredible he is and how much he loves us. So that's why God created people, to, to worship him, to love him, and to bring glory to him. Our story point for today, the main thing that we're going to be learning about is about how Jesus healed a woman and he raised a girl from the dead. See, Jesus was walking around and he was telling people about God and telling them about how they needed to repent of their sins and come and follow him and follow God. When someone came and they told him, Jesus, my daughter is very sick. It was Jairus. And he came to Jesus and he said, my daughter is very sick. She's 12 years old. I don't know what to do and we need your help. And so Jesus decided that he would go help. And on the way to go help this little girl, there was a woman crawling through the crowd or coming through the crowd, and she touched Jesus's clothes as he walked by. So he's just walking through the city, walking through the crowd of people, and this lady touches his coat, touches his clothes. And just by touching his clothes, she was healed. The sickness, the thing that had been bothering her for years was gone immediately. And Jesus felt it. He felt, the Bible tells us that he felt his power go out of him. And so Jesus turned and he said, who touched me? And when the lady said that it was her, he said, daughter, your faith has healed you. So just because she believed that Jesus was special, that he was awesome and incredible and that he could do anything, she was healed without him even having to do anything just because she had faith to do that. That is how incredible and amazing Jesus is. That is why we worship him and glorify him and tell him that he is so amazing. So after that, Jesus was going to the home of Jairus to help his daughter, to help her and to heal her. And while they were going, the little girl died. The little girl died. But when Jesus got there, he saw everybody crying. He saw everybody upset that it had happened. He said, you know what? Don't cry. Don't be upset. She's only sleeping. Because you know the incredible, awesome thing about Jesus is that there is nothing that he can't do. So even people dying isn't a big deal for him. He can do anything. And so he sat next to the little girl and he prayed and the little girl opened her eyes and she was alive, she was well. She, it even tells us that she jumped out of bed isn't that incredible? Jesus can do anything, and I'm so glad that we worship him. That is why I worship him, and that is why I praise him, is because he is incredible, and he can do amazing, awesome, glorious things. And so we should honor him and worship him and bring glory to his name. This is a picture of our lesson today, from our lesson today. It's Jesus and Jairus, and they were walking through the city and going through so, our scripture verse for this unit, the verses that are the key passage and focal point for what we are doing are from Isaiah. And they say, Surely he took up our pain and our suffering, yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities. 
The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. Isaiah 53, 4 through 5. And those are two long verses that just tell us that Jesus took our punishment, that he took the punishment for our sin and the things that we do that God doesn't want us to do. And he took that pain and that suffering for us. I am so glad that Jesus did that for me. I'm so glad that he did that for you guys too. I love Jesus and I will praise him forever because of that. So I hope that you guys enjoy watching these videos this week and I hope you enjoy worshiping God and diving into Mark chapter five with us. You hope you guys have a good week and we will see you guys again soon. Bye.